guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle. And this week, as you can tell, I'm sitting on my floor in my office because I'm gonna do something a little different than a DIY this week, but I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to pack for a vacation that is like only like two, three days long because as you're watching this, will be like Thursday or Friday, depending when I actually get to upload it. I'll be going to New York this weekend coming up, so I wanted to share some tips that I use to pack for a trip that's only in a carry-on suitcase because we're taking a flight to New York, but I don't want to check anything because I don't want to wait for it. I don't want a chance of it getting lost when I'm just there for two days, basically. So these are some tips and tricks on how you can pack for a short vacation, but only in one suitcase. So to start packing, I'll say you're gonna need a suitcase. So a tiny carry-on like this, which really doesn't have that much room when you look at it, especially being a girl when like you pack everything. You want options. You can't just pack. I can't pack and make sure like, okay, Saturday, I definitely want to wear this shirt. I have no idea. I need options. But number one when planning for a trip and packing is to make a list. Write down everything that you're going to need for that trip and start by the different outfits that you need. So start with like your um, airport outfit and then your first day outfit and then your night outfit. Kind of go by that and throw in different options and versatile items that will work for that. My airplane outfit, I am bringing my Lululemons I have because not only are these comfy for my 6 a.m. flight, yes, 6 a.m. flight, it's gonna be super early, but I can also wear these underneath jeans for when it's cold in New York to keep me warm. Packing a white and black t-shirt is a really good idea. So I'll be wearing one of these on the plane and let's be honest, it's probably gonna be black because if I wear this, it's not gonna be white by the time I get off the plane. So we're just gonna pack that one in the suitcase right now. So tip number two is to bring a blanket scarf. So not only is this going to keep you warm when you're walking around the city and doing your sightseeing and all that kind of stuff, but it's also gonna act as a blanket or a pillow. So when you're tired and you have your 6 a.m. flight, as mentioned, you wrap it in a ball, you go like this, and you can sleep. Tip number three is to pack a pair of jeans. And since you're only going for like two, three days, you can just wear the same pair of jeans. And don't lie to me, all worn the same pair of jeans two days in a row. Next is packing two to three sweaters that are gonna go perfect with your black jeans, which is basically anything in your closet because the pants are black. And then as mentioned, to help plan for the trip, packing in the order that you're gonna wear outfits is a good idea. So I have my airplane outfit or airport, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. And then like my first day outfits, and then the next would be something to sleep in. So I have my Lululemons, which can also act as sleeping, as well as a pair of shorts, a little bralette, as well as a thermal long sleeve shirt, which once again can act as something to wear underneath my coat or something in New York to keep warm. So next would be another day outfit, which I kind of already packed because I have my two sweaters as well as my jeans that I'm going to wear for the next day while walking around. And plus I'll be wearing a coat most of the time, so it won't matter too much. But then the next item would be a really cute going out outfit. So I am packing a pair of liquid leggings that can be worn for a fun night out, as well as one cute little cami top, which once again can go versatile if I want to just stick with my jeans and not go with the liquid leggings. And if you have room in your suitcase, I suggest packing one really fun item. And I am bringing my sequin blazer because I feel like it's New York and Fashion Week would have just ended in New York. So I feel like a sequin blazer is probably like a spot that I could really wear this and people not look at me completely weird. So I am definitely gonna bring this with me and make sure that it fits into my suitcase. The next items are just the really more kind of practical items that you're gonna need on any trip, especially when it's cold. So I get really cold, so I am bringing these really warm boots that are up to minus 30 degrees weather that I can wear them so my feet will not freeze. And my boyfriend's actually gonna bring them as well. And they have these like really cool grips at the bottom so you can't slip or anything like that. So those will be my main boots for the whole trip. And I'll probably pack like one pair of like fashion boots, like my um, like little black booties or something just as an option if I have space. But other than that, I'm gonna mostly wear these warm boots because I like to be warm. And one of the last items that I'm going to pack is this little goodie bag. So this is something I like to keep on all my trips and it's just a simple little, um, I guess I call it like Janelle's like go away pharmacy type thing. So I have like gum, I have my sage pocket, 
pharmacy, which is like the greatest thing ever. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this, but it's unbelievable. So I'm gonna pack that as well as I have some dry shampoo, makeup removers, as well as small little um, moisturizers that you can bring that will work because they're all under 50 milliliters. So nothing's gonna get flaked when going on the plane as well as some anti-frizz for the hair. Nothing likes to focus. Little anti-gel, some medicine case, anything happens. And of course, band-aids because I hurt myself all the time. I don't know how, but bring band-aids. And then the last item I'll be packing just like the day of is just my day-to-day -day makeup, which will also go on top here. And it looks like I have plenty of space. So I'll show you guys that as well, kind of how it's all packed for the suitcase. You can see here, it's still pretty good. Like I got this whole space right here and I can still put my makeup there and a pair of boots and then put this on. And it's not even like to the point where I have to sit on it and close it yet. So that's pretty good if you ask me. And I just got this whole front pocket, like damn. And then last but not least, but some other items that will be going onto the plane with me are I'm bringing two hat options to keep me warm, well as Hudson Bay mitts and two just simple like black mitts because sometimes you just get really, really warm and you just want something simple. Warm jacket. So I know you guys probably seen me talk about noise before, but this coat I'm gonna be bringing with me as it has all the fur and a big hood to keep me warm and very thick and it goes like past my butt, which is really awesome. I don't know if you guys know, but like jackets like go past your butt are so much more warmer because that area gets really cold. So if it's all like warm and everything goes like past there, your thighs stay warm and everything's better. So I'm super excited to have this jacket on the trip with me and it's just gonna keep me really warm. And a last little tip that you might not know, but because you are bringing a carry-on like this, you're still allotted to have like a purse bag or kind of like a laptop bag with you. So I always bring my backpack with me as well that has like a laptop, a little slip in it. So I bring that, I bring my laptop and my camera, all my kind of camera gear with me. So I have that safe because this goes kind of like in a little like top funky and then my backpack will stay with me. I have like my passport and all that kind of stuff with me as well as I stuff this little crossbody bag because walking around all day with something you actually have to hold is no, this not happening. And I guess the last one is never forget your passport. Always make sure you have that because can you imagine getting to the airport and you don't have your passport and then you can't go on your trip? And now I probably drink to myself, so that's probably gonna happen. But no. Make sure you follow me on Instagram to make sure I actually get to New York. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Go check out the other videos below and stay tuned next week because I'm gonna have more tips and um, a little kind of travel diary of my whole time in New York.